Welcome back, and I am still um, talking about Sabakosi to Satisfy My Cup Overfloweth series regarding Angelic Encounter. This angel that we are talking about is Uriel, and um, it is Fire of God, God of Light is his name. Um, I'm going to be sharing some scriptures not to worship angel the messenger we're worshiping the lord who sent angelic encounters for our divine assistance our help our guide our protection colossians 2 18 do not let anyone who delights in false humility and the worship of angels disqualify you such a person also goes into great detail about what they have seen, they are puffed up with idle notions by their unsupernatural, or excuse me, unspiritual mind. What does this mean? It means something along the lines of invoke or conjure. Engaging in the somewhat magical solicitation of angels to inward off e evil or to provide physical protection or to bestow blessings and success on their daily endeavors. I would add to um, none of this angel numbers. That is a form of divination. I would also add to not praying to the angels themselves don't be doing that because that would be a form of worship pray directly to god and god will then guide and send angels you can ask for protection of angels they can be sent to you but the lord can also assign an army of angels to you depending on the assignment that you have. Some of us are called to pray for people. Some of us are called to pray for towns, neighborhoods, and then cities, nations. And so that requires um, an army of angels at one point. So, that's what Colossians 2.18 talks about. Talking about um, not worshiping the messenger of God. Now, Romans 1.25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the, create, the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever? Amen. What does that mean? They exchange the truth about God for a lie and worship and serve created things. The sinfulness of man is described as ungodliness against the law of the first table and the unrighteousness against those of the second. If we go to a different commentary. Romans 125 in context and exchange the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like a mortal human being and birds and animals and reptiles. Therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for their degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worship and serve cre created things rather than the creator who is forever praised. Amen. That's 25. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lust. Even their women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed shameful acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for this error. 2 Kings 21.3 he rebuked or he rebuilt the high places in his father's Hezekiah had destroyed. He also erected altars to Baal and made an Asherah pole. As Ahab, king of Israel, had done, he bowed down to all the starry host and worshipped them. 
So this is the commentary. The idols, the sun pillars, the sacred trees, and all the other pagans or half pagan symbols so plainly inconsistent with the prophetic faith were of the very substance of Israel's worship in the popular centuries when the Lord has smeared his hand on your eyes so that you can truly see Shikara Shashana. He's going to have you realize what's in this world that's not godly. That's, For example, you know, I go to McDonald's, we get some Happy Meals, we get our food, and then the toy has the elements, and they're called totems on the package. Because they're called totems, I don't know, I don't watch TV, I don't watch regular channels TV, so I don't know what it's all about, but just the fact that was a clue right there, that is already showing children that it's okay to just, um, these little figurines, I had little wheels, um, to play with them and to kind of um, care for them, desynthesizing the f of half pagan symbols and idols totems are idols the lord is the one who created the four elements so we have to pay attention we have to we have to open our eyes so for example something just dawned on me right now those little gnomes that people put in their lawn and they're kind of there for like decoration and look kind of cute i think they look kind of creepy but some people really like them and look cute and have a little mushroom this and that but they're sort of there to like protect and um it starts becoming like some pagan symbolic of some pagan um customs so you got to be careful that in itself can be it. And it seems like, oh my goodness, could it be everything and anything? Well, surely. It could be um, being on your phone and and consistently um, scrolling and scrolling and taking a bunch of time for that and not any time for God. It could be being a shopaholic. It could be hoarders the stuff, the items, having to be a collectible, um, um, what's it called? Um, it could be idolizing those, that theme, that item. We have to be very careful. All right, so it says, for he built up again and and, and then it says the high places as the idols, the sun pillars, stuff like that. All right. Then it says, worship all the hosts of heaven. No, it's Second Kings 7, 17, which says, They forsook all the commands of the Lord their God and made for themselves two idols cast in the shape of calves. And Asherah pole, they, they bowed down to all the starry coast and they worshiped Baal. All right, so Revelations 22, 8 through 9. It starts on the 8. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I had heard and seen them, I fell down to worship at my feet of the angel who had been showing them to me. But he said to me, don't do that. I am a follower servant with you and with you, your fellow prophets and with all who keep the words of this scroll. Worship God. It continues, 10 and 11. Then he told me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this scroll, because the time is near. Let the one who does wrong continue to do wrong. Let the vile person continue to be vile. Let the one who does right continue to do right. And let the holy person continue to be holy. On that note, we're in this era now, stage of harvest, and we're not allowed to um, help those anymore 
the, they have to go straight to the Lord for repentance. And some will not do so. The Lord has hardened certain hearts and the Lord has um, caused one to be foolish and more foolish upon that because he wants them to receive their wrath. And the ones that are good, he wants them to receive blessings and abundance and double portion. So we must obey the yes as much as we obey the no. For those that are in the reaping of Sabakosi to satisfy my life, my cup overfloweth. Um, your life is full of abundance and glory. Congratulations. Cheers to you. It has been a journey. It has been tough. But this series has shown me a lot is to not let anything steal your joy. And to stay in righteousness. And all this has caused lots of, of confidence in the Lord. Lots of reassurance. And it has giving me tons of wisdom and knowledge. And so I hope that you are able to embrace this new knowledge, this wisdom the Lord gives you to grow in him, to know him more. Amen. This is part five called Sabakosi Angelic Encounter. Worship God who sends angelic help. Worship him alone.